Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to go over an instrument that we use a lot. We use a lot for noise measurements, but it's a real powerful tool for those of you who are wanting to understand acoustics, who want to understand how energy moves around in a room, uh, wants to understand the difference between low frequency pressure and middle and high frequency ray energy or reflections. So it's a real good real-time tool to help you understand the physics of sound. And if you understand what your room is doing to energy, you'll be able to understand the treatments that are required also. So it's got a bunch of names, real-time analyzer. We call it resolution time analyzer because that's really what it does. It shows you the resolution in your room, what you're going to be up against in terms of issues. So it shows the movement of energy in a room. And that's the most important part. And it does it in octave bands. And each octave band has eight notes. We know that. So it's a good indicator of what's going on in your room. So a good way to, to look at this is just divide it into two parts to make it easy. Above 125 and below 125. So you can do 100 if you want. It doesn't really make any difference for purposes of this exercise more of a teaching tool for you. So divide it up into two parts, below 125 and above 125. And notice the movement of energy in each part, okay? That's the thing you want to do. Look at the low frequency peaks. Look at the mid frequency, above 125, peaks and, and dips in response. You're going to see some octave bands go higher. You're going to see some go lower. You know, there's this constant interplay of balance that you're trying to achieve, but your room usually won't let you. So that's where the treatment part of it comes in. Eight notes, we already went over that. Low, low frequency bands should move separately from each other. If they're moving in a group, that tells you that, you know, you got a lot of modal issues in the room. And also, if you see a peak that hovers below the rest of them, constantly. That's a mode. So you can get a good idea of which octave bands are producing modal issues in the room also. It's a picture of the energy that you can't see, that you can only hear. So that's the, the interesting thing about it. Look at the movement of the mids and highs. Are they separate? Are they moving in groups? Are the octave bands moving in groups? For mids and highs, that's okay. That shows a nice smooth uh, transition between the bands. But in the low frequency area, we want those octave bands to move individually. That's where you get that real good definition and separation in the low end. So <clears throat> what do we got here? Listen, watch, notice. Yeah, look at, look at what's going on in your room. Play numerous sources. Play numerous uh, songs that you're familiar with. And you're going to start to see over those different songs, you're going to start to see patterns. You're going to start to see patterns below 125 and patterns above 125. And that's what you have to recognize. That's what you have to learn about. And that's what you have to understand if you're going to treat the room successfully. So obviously, you know, we want a frequency response that's not like we see most of the time with the low end way up here. And you'll see that in the RTA. So what we're going to do for treatment is we're going to push on those. We're going to push on those. And those are going to cause the gaps to fill. So that's a good thing tool for it to issue. You want to treat the low frequency problems in the room first because they're the fundamentals. This is causing all of this. This fundamental area here is rippling through the mids and highs and producing problems. So we want to address that issue first. But get an RTA. Uh, there's plenty of them available. Apple Store has one. We use what's called RTA Pro. It's green. Uh, you can see it in the Apple Store. That's the one we recommend. That's the one we use for our noise time studies also. So, great tool. Help you to, and you can leave it on right when you're playing music and watch as you're playing music. That's what we do in the studio. So you get a good idea of what's happening in real time. RTA, a picture of sound. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. 
We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.